Hey everybody, thanks for joining in, Alexander here. So today I'm going to show you how to fix this morphing problem in a quick and this way. Let's get to work. So first of all, let's create a rectangle. Okay, and now go here on the rectangle transform and just put the position to zero and also zero on the y-axis and let's put this anchor point in the middle with Control alt home and now let's align this okay so we have the rectangle shape let's rename this to rectangle rectangle and we want to morph this into the letter h so let's now create the the letter h okay let's put this anchor point in the middle with Control alt home again and let's align this in the middle okay so we can't morph uh, the rectangle into the letter if we have a text so we have to convert this text into a shape so right click on this and create create shapes from text and now we can delete the actual text so now we have rectangle and the edge so we're gonna make a new a new shape layer and in this shape layer we're gonna create the morphing so let's rename this to rectangle dash h okay so first of all what you have to do is go here on the rectangle shape then rectangle path so if you want to copy the path we have to right click on this and convert to bezier path and now we can copy the path by pressing this stopwatch and we can now we can now copy this keyframe with ctrl c and let's paste this here but first of all let's create a path let's add a path and let's paste the value from the rectangle now this path uh, we can we can delete it and now also let's take the path from the h go to contents h h let's put a keyframe and let's copy this go in this rectangle h path go some keyframes forward and make sure you have the path selected and let's paste the path from the h we can now delete this path from the edge and we can hide the rectangle and the edge. So now we have the, the path for the rectangle and also for the edge, but we don't see anything because we don't have a fill. So let's add a fill to this. Let's change this color to something like a blue because that red is kind of horrible. Something like that so now we have the morphing from rectangle to h but it looks very awful so we're gonna fix this in a minute so let me explain to you the problem let's hide this main shape let's close this and unhide the rectangle and the h and now let's also hide the fill and activate the stroke let's change the color to a red and let's add a trim path all right let's do the same thing on the edge let's hide the fill we now have a stroke let's increase a bit the width and let's add a trim path here now on to the trim path of the rectangle you can see that as i increase the start the path is going from right to left so it's going clockwise and in the edge as I increase the start the path is going from left to right so it's going counterclockwise so that's the problem because the path of the rectangle is going in one direction and the path of the edge is going in another direction so that will mess up the entire morphing so to fix this Let's go here in the, in the rectangle shape 
let's click on the pad and right click on this and click reset so now you can see that as i increase the the start the shape is going uh, the pad sorry is going from left to right so it's going counterclockwise and the pad from from h it's also going from left to right so it's going counterclockwise all right so we fixed this problem uh, and now the the pet from the both shapes are going in the same direction that's one problem fixed and now let's let's take the pet of the main shape and let's delete these these keyframes and let's copy the new pet let's put again a keyframe so we can copy this pet copy and let's copy the path of the edge put a keyframe copy this go couple of frames forward click on the path and paste this let's hide the edge and the rectangle and unhide this so now wait the problem is not fixed the morphing is still really bad what is happening well we have now a second problem and i'm gonna show to you how to fix this in one minute so first of all let's just close the contents of this rectangle because we don't need this anymore and let's go back to our main shape so let me zoom in here and let's change this color to red so we can see better all right so now you can see that we have a lot of points here but if you look closely at this point from the top left you can see that this is a bit different so that means that this is the first point from this point our our shape is starting you saw before that as as i increased the start the pet was starting from here and it it was going down and then right and so on so this is our first point and now let's go let's go here in the h and we see that this point here is a bit different so that means that this is our first point the first point for the letter h you saw you saw before that from here our path was starting and it was going down and right and so on so what you have to do now is to make these points to be in the same in the same place so let's take with the with the selection tool make sure we have the path selected let's take this path right click on this mask and shape path and set first vertex so here now is our is our first point our path is starting from here and let's make the same the same point here the the first point so right click on this mask and shape pad and set first vertex so now we have the first point here in the in the bottom left and also here in the bottom left so now let me fill this up and now the morphing is actually happening natural and smoother so we now fixed uh, we now fixed the problem of course you can now play around with the with the keyframes and make this look look smoother and more natural but for the sake of this tutorial i'm gonna end this here i hope you understood something and if you liked this video please leave a like or a subscribe it would mean a lot to me so that is all thank you again for watching and don't forget to keep your mind awake bye